at my favorite time of year and I am excited today to be able to give you some ideas for putting together an adult themed Halloween party. With the bite of fall in the air, one of the things you want to remember to do when menu planning is to think about seasonal flavors. And this evening's menu features stuffed chicken breasts wrapped in smoky applewood bacon and a ghostly whimsical side of fluffy baked Duchess potatoes with buttery steamed broccoli. We're having such a delicious dinner tonight that I don't want my guests to fill up too much on appetizers, but you always want them to have something to nibble on while they're enjoying the two signature cocktails that we're having. So I'm putting together some freshly popped popcorn and some chopped toasted pecans. Mix those together in a large bowl and then melt brown sugar corn syrup, Creole spice, vanilla, and baking soda in a medium saucepan until light and smooth. Pour that over your popcorn and the nuts. Mix well and bake at 200 for 20 minutes. Serve with purple grapes and cheese for a light first course. We're going to do two signature cocktails to go with our delicious, sweet, and savory crunchy caramel corn. The first is a cocktail that I call the Scream Teeny. Vodka, peach schnapps, and peach mango juice are hit with a little orange food coloring for a fright-tastic cocktail treat. And for our second cocktail, we're going to go to the savory side of town with either a Bloody Mary or a Bloody Caesar martini, which is going to be something new to all my American friends. So I've got in here some Clamato juice, but you could use tomato juice, vodka, Worcester, Tabasco, a little olive juice, and we're going to shake it all together. And this is going to be delicious. This has to be one of my favorite ideas for Halloween entertaining. And all I've done is whipped up some mashed potatoes. I used russet potatoes and then I flavored them up. I actually used my Flavor Boost roasted garlic butter, which you can use regular butter, some salt, some pepper, and we also add to this a bit of milk and an egg yolk. And once that's all nice and creamy, it goes into just a simple Ziploc bag. And now I'm going to show you how we're going to turn this into a very cute, spooktacular side dish. Simply pipe out your potatoes, like so, onto a parchment or tin foil lined baking sheet. So you know I'm all about stress-free entertaining. These can be done ahead of time. You can even do them up to a day in advance. I usually do them in the morning. Then we're just going to cover them loosely with some plastic wrap and refrigerate until we're ready to bake them. One note on our little ghosts. Um, you can add little eyes to these using caraway seeds or sometimes I've used bacon bits. Uh, today I just happened to be out so I didn't put eyes on them, but certainly you can just do two little dotted eyes as well. Now it's time to start the chicken. Begin by sauteing diced onion, mushrooms, and apple until soft and fragrant. Butterfly four boneless, skinless chicken breasts by cutting vertical slits like so, and then pounding thin. Spread the chicken breasts with equal amounts of the mushroom mixture, roll, and slather with barbecue sauce. I've used my homemade flavor boost sauce, and then marinate for two hours. Next, cut eight strips of bacon into halves like so and then wrap around your chicken breasts affixing with toothpicks. Brush on more barbecue sauce and then bake at 350 degrees for 45 minutes until the chicken is tender and the bacon is crispy. Finally dessert, featuring my favorite Halloween treat, the Snickers bar. Melt three bars with a quarter cup of butter in a saucepan and pour over three cups of Rice Krispie cereal. Mix well and then press into a small baking sheet. Don't you just love this? I tell you, 
I am the queen of the easy dessert. And this also has the added bonus of being not too heavy, especially after a really good dinner. I find I don't want to load up on a whole lot of dessert, but a nice sweet to end is perfect. At 89 calories per serving, these are going to go a long way. So what we're going to do now is refrigerate until they're set and then we'll cut them into serving size pieces. And what you could even do is put them into little individual cellophane wrappers with a little bit of Halloween ribbon. Really the sky's the limit in showing your guests that they're special to you. Happy Halloween everyone. Thanks so much for watching. And let me know if you put together some Halloween dinner party ideas of your own. I'm always looking for great new tips, recipes, and techniques. Until next month, it's Lindsay Wells, The Kitchen Witch, signing off. Bye for now.